guys, Dorothy here with Done by Dorothy, and we are here today. This is installment number two of the collaboration between Done by Dorothy and Bella Creativa Designs with Katie. Um, all of the links for our Etsy stores, uh, Facebook groups, YouTube channels, um, the individual uh, digital kits, the SVG kits, um, there's a kit from Tsunami Rose that I'm using in mine. Um, uh, there are actually two. There's a vintage hanky kit and a um, doily coffee dyed paper kit. The, those links will be there. Every single link to what we use will be in here. If I use um, a su certain supply, I'll try to add that in. Um, if it's something really special, you know, beyond what our basic normal things that we use. Um, I am using some tags that I made in a previous video, and I will make sure that I link that video also in the description box. So this is a collabor collaboration between, like I said, Bella Creativa Designs and Done by Dorothy. I am um, the digital kits I actually created, and Bella Creativa designed the SVG journal pack. Now, SVGs are scalable vector graphics, are what you use in your cutting machines, your brother scanning cuts, your crickets, your silhouettes, all of those type of machines. Um, and the journal pack, it is, if you watch the intro, I'll go through everything that's in it, but it's got pack, pockets, CD sleeves, bags, inserts, all kinds of stuff. She did an excellent job um, with these. Not only does it include the file to cut, say, the pocket, it also includes the mat for the pocket, which is sensational um, the amount of time that it saves you in cutting those files. So you can do one of two things. You can cut out your SVG of, say, like a pocket on your cardstock that you've printed or cardstock that you're using if you're using, you know, like pre-made store-bought cardstock versus Printing a digital cardstock at home, you can print it directly on that and just literally use that. Or you can cut it out with, say, a craft, a black, a white, a cream, whatever base color cardstock you want. And she also includes the mats so you can cut out that mat and mat it so you can have, say, like a gorgeous burgundy base cardstock with rose mat on top of it so she's did a great job with these so make sure that you check these out she also has other albums um, that are there and all kinds of things that you can make and create and 3d projects and albums and altered um altoid 10 type altered tens um a rolodex that you can create from the ground up that's completely homemade uh, steamer trunks and albums and albums that go in suitcases and all kinds of stuff and albums with interchangeable pockets. So, I mean, be sure to check out her SVGs if you have a cutting machine. She is excellent. They cut nice, clean, and concise. Absolutely love them. And you're sitting there going, I know some of you are. I know it because I hear it all the time. I don't have a cutting machine. It's too expensive. I can't afford a cutting machine. I don't have one. Well, guess what? Katie has saved the day. If you do not have an SVG cutting machine, a Cricut, a Silhouette, or whatever, that's fine. Because Katie has created a printable template file. The printable template file is awesome. You can, you know, cut out the pockets and draw around them and trim your paper using it as a full-blown template. Or you can print this sheet. Now, like the words that are written on here, those are mine. That is part of a project I'm doing. Um, is why the words are on there. They come without the words. You can print it directly on your scrapbook paper. And like I would cut it on the negative side. The side you're not going, you don't want to be displayed. And then you can cut around it and create your pocket. The reason I would use the negative side is because, you know, if you don't cut exactly straight into this part of a line you don't have a line showing through on the outside of your project but if you do 
choose to print it directly on, you can ink around the edges and it totally covers it up. So she does have printable templates available. If you're interested in knowing more about this, make sure that you go back in the playlist, watch the intro video because it's going to give you the down and dirty, the nitty gritty details of what exactly is included in this pack and what exact papers are used, all those details like that. But if you don't want to watch the intro video, hit the description box. All of the information is there waiting for you. So without further ado, let me move my paper clips over here out of the way. I am wanting, what I'm going to start with is sorting my signatures, sort of putting them in order. Um, that's where I'm going to start. That's how I always start. I build my signatures up. Now, I went through everything that I was going to use in the last video. So go back and check that out if you're wondering what I'm going to use for a cover and all of that. These were created in a previous wingding, what our Wednesday night live wingdings that we do. Um, and they were created there. I will link that video down below so you can see how I made these if you are interested. So we have some, a CD pocket, a tag, a coffee filter that has simply just been coffee dyed, um, baked in the oven to dry it. And then I pull it out and then I ironed it flat until I folded it. A vintage hanky that was new in the package, which I think was totally awesome. This is one of the printables from Tsunami Rose. A vintage uh, academic department book, Latin language and literature um, from a very old college catalog book is what it was. A, this is a second year, second half. Um, well, hello, I will remember it. A first reader is what it was. And it had about April showers, make May flowers. So I thought it was very fitting for this journal. This is a David Austin Rose catalog book. Um, absolutely gorgeous. A vintage ledger paper that I've literally just, it was a long one. So I've literally just folded some up and then fold it in half and glue it on the sides. And I have a folder for the middle of my signature, a vintage recipe, and it does have some advertisements in it. I have got a couple of the digitals to incorporate. I'm not incorporating a lot of those straight off because I'm going to decorate all my coffee dye pages. And my coffee dyed pages, I think I have six um, for each signature because I'm doing three signatures and I didn't want to overload it, make it too big and bulky. So with that, let me pull these out, separate these, pile them up. Okay, so I do know with this one, I want to put my folder in the middle. And maybe I will put a doily in there. So I will, um, in the next video you'll see, before I put it in, I'll get it just like a coffee stain doily um, to put in there. So I like that. Then I think I'm gonna use one of my digitals. And a coffee page. And again, I'm just layering this up. Let's see, that was a digital. So let's do a book page. This is almost as big as my coffee. Oh, I'm actually going to have to trim that down some, but it'll work for now. Put that in there. Then we'll go back through once we get it. Let's, let's put our, see where space wise, what. Okay, so I think this, I'm going to end up folding up because it's, you know, so much longer. Fold it up. Let's see if I bring it over and I'll iron this and, you know, flatten it out before I get ready to. And I'll sew that on the edges to make a pocket. 
And let me see if that's going to stick out. Nope, that will work just perfect. Right like that in the middle of our signature. Another coffee page. Let's do, let's see, we just did that. So let's do another book page. And our coffee dyed page. Colorful page. Regular. Maybe start with our digital on the front. Okay. So let's go back through. We have this. So let's put our book page of digitals. Well, now we have that there. So let's see. Let's put our book page here and break that up like that. Then, since we have, let's see, we've got that doily there. Let's go up in the very front and we will put in the digital by Tsunami Rose. Again, the tag will just stick in there somewhere. Let's see, where's, let's stick that down in the ledger book. How's that? Um, and then let's put this in the middle. We'll go ahead and use that. And then let's see what we've got going on here. Look at these, this book page is pretty plain. So how about we do our envelope right there on the edge of that? So let's go to the front and see what we've got going on. And I love the fact this digital page. Now, I do have the option that I could cut down all of my pages to fit my digital page. However, I sort of like the fact that, it, you know, it has that different size to it straight off. So, that, coffee dyed, our doily. Okay, let's do this a little different here. Let's. Let's put this right here. Always redo a flip through before you decide because you never know. There we go. With a doily, a book page, the doily pocket, or the vintage hanky pocket, the recipe book, the David Austin flower book, another vintage page, the college academic page, a digital. Coffee dyed and the ledger with the coffee filter in the middle. I like that. Yep. Perfect for me. So I'm going to need it down. Let's see how much over on the end that is. So I'm going to grab my paper clip. See if I can work it around all of this just to clip it in together. There we go, and I'll put that to the side and hold that. And then on to number two. Okay, number two, we got a gorgeous tag, isn't that gorgeous? And just a pink, again, another one of the doilies, a square coffee filter. Maybe we will Maybe we will fold this up, create some pockets out of that. That would work. And I'm just going to fold it. Doesn't even matter if it's straight because they're not going to be on the same page. One of our digital pages. Let's see. I like that one for the front. And another digital page. Again, that first year. A vintage music sheet and again the academic page so and our recipe page so let's start with our digital out front just sort of keep that going on let's see start with our recipe page first this time There we go. And again, we're going to go through this just like we did before. 
Let's break it up with some color. Let's put our doily here. And let's see, let's go with oh we let's go with our book page. Coffee died. Let's do our digital. Let's do our music page. It may be a little too big. Sticking out. Or we can trim it off. That's not a problem. Then let's see. In the middle. Do this again. We can stick our tag in there. Our other one has the envelope towards the back, so let's put the envelope towards the front here, like right here. It's somewhat sealed itself together. Oh, you may be using a different one. This one seems to have a few so hold on, it's coming. Just a little slower. Okay. That's funny, it sealed the top, but it's like him loose on its own. How does that work? And we'll fix that. And then, so we'll do that all back in and that let's just put that to the side. Okay, we've got that. So we that leaves us with one more paper. Um, where is let's put it under here. Just put it under here. And I'll reinforce the again the that area of that. Okay, so let's um, so we've got the digital, a coffee page, a vintage recipe, the envelope page, the doily, coffee dyed page, a book page, coffee dyed page, the digital, coffee dyed page, music, coffee dyed, the primary book, and a square coffee filter in the middle. And then this when I get ready to I'll make sure it's like all centered and nice. Let's pin this together. Set this to the side. That's it. It's coming together pretty fast. Okay, so we've got our envelope here. Now this actually glued when I was doing it. So what I'm thinking is we could cover the inside of this with coffee paper or with, yeah, with coffee dyed paper. Um, the inside, I believe this is flaps up and down to journal on. So this square would be a journaling spot. The triangles will be journaling spots. We can close in. Then this, we can hang off the page. So I think that will work good. And there's a tag, actually, the tag in there, the paper, and sort of hide it there. So we have our doily, our ledger paper, it's a small little ledger paper today. Again, our David Austin page, the doily, and our digital page, and our book pages. So start with our digital. Let's see which one we want. Um, oh, let's see. That's got the Okay, so let's start. Let's actually put this in the front. I sort of like that. Isn't pretty? It goes with this kit so well. And this I actually printed 
the coffee dyed doily page and then printed my digital page over top of it is how I got that effect. So let's change this up a little bit. Let's put this up front. Just to change it up a wee bit. And we know we're going to have a book page that too many. So let's go ahead and use this one. And we'll put it right here. That's just the way it's been working out. Okay, so let's see, we've got that there. Let's do the ledger page. Let's do David Austin page. And you can order um, the David Austin Rose catalogs online. You just have to search for David Austin. I'm do this. This one in here. Oop. We'll put our other digital. And like I said, we'll come back through if we need to. I think we're going to need to. Let's see. Let's go ahead. Let's put this right here. Put it in. Let's see. When we get to our middle, let's put our doily right in the middle because I love this round one. I think that'll look. Let me cut the tag thingy off. I actually bought this at an estate sale and a bunch of vintage stuff from like 1950s. So why it still has a tag on it, I have no idea. But it doesn't look like it was really used either, so that's maybe why. So that can go in the middle. Let's find some. Let's actually do this with the flip out onto this page. So it'll sort of have that smaller look, but then it turns around and has that too. And then let's see we've got that there oh we could let's put the doily in between those two because that'll sort of create separation let's see Make sure i got my roses turned up right just slide that in there so we have a digital coffee pages our waxed paper deli paper I need to make some more of that. I need to coffee stain some. And our academic department page, coffee dyed, our ledger. Doily. You know what? Let's not. I don't want to do all of those in, in order. Let's put this over here. Let's put this inside the ledger. So it sort of creates like a multi tiered page there. There. And the coffee dyed recipe page, the David Austin Rose page, the coffee dyed page, the little book page, coffee dyed, and our. Let's see how this side looks. That one there, that'll go good. Yes. Roses recipe, coffee dyed, doily. Our ledger page, coffee dyed page, the academic department page, our dried, and the digital. Yes, I like that. So let me take this and pin it. Okay. So I'm pinning that. So we have our signatures together. So we have those. Let's see. How do we want to put this? I will do the pink one in the front, one in the back. There we go. On it that way. So we have our signatures pulled together. Um, so the next thing will be to start 
embellishing them. And then once we embellish them, get everything added, um, some of the stuff, then we'll go ahead and we'll do the cover. Actually, we might work on the cover next to go ahead and sew them in, then embellish them after they're in. That way we can sort of control the alligator mouth that we have. Um, I will probably use a two inch spine. It will alligator a mouth a little bit just because that's they always do, but I just like that. Maybe a two and a half. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so that was putting this together. So thanks for tuning in for the second installment um, on the collaboration between Bella Creativa Designs and Done by Dorothy. We appreciate you watching. Um, again, make sure you go over on to Katie's YouTube on Bella Creativa Designs and check out her video where she's creating a junk journal using the same kits, um, but obviously hers will be different than mine because everybody does things differently. Um, but she will be using the same kits. So you actually have the option of once you get all the kits and everything, you can make both journals because they're going to be different, um, which is pretty awesome. So you guys have a great day and we will see you back here again when we work on installment number three. Uh, again, have a great day and we'll see you next time.